One of the most effective tools pilots and engineers use when learning about aircraft is the flight simulator. The simulators have been around almost as long as airplanes have. In fact, in early models, pilots would practice flying by sitting in wooden barrels suspended off the ground. The simulators have come a long way since then, but the basic idea of making flying safer hasn't changed. Today, they are incredibly complex machines that are used not just to help pilots learn to fly, but are used to run experiments or tests, which can be too expensive or too dangerous to attempt in flight. I spoke with Marshall Smith at NASA Langley Research Center to find out how they work. So Marshall, uh, what are the differences between NASA flight simulators and other simulators? Well, the difference between NASA flight simulators and other simulators are mainly in the training uh, environment versus engineering and research. Other types of simulators are used for training, and so they benefit one pilot or the pilots that are out there learning to fly airplanes, but our simulators are used for uh, developing engineering concepts okay. or things that make, uh, make flying safer. So what are some real world problems that simulators have solved? Some of the problems are related to safety. For example, uh, wind shear detection and avoidance was a big problem. Wind shear is, occurs when you have a real strong downdraft and it could occur from thunderstorms or could occur, occur nearing mountain sides or even in clear air. Okay. But basically what happens is it causes the plane to lose lift and crash. And 15 to 20 years ago, a lot of planes were crashing because of uh, wind shear problems, but engineering simulators were used, at NASA particularly, to detect uh, wind shears and also give them guidance as to how to get out of a wind shear condition and actually land the plane uh, safely. Uh, wind shear is rarely a problem anymore. So that was like 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, what are some current things that you're working on today? Okay, some of the problems we're working on today involve uh, synthetic vision where we're trying to give the pilot an out the window picture of what the world looks like if he can't see. It's flying through clouds or it's really uh, low visibility. He can look down at this display and see what he would see if there was clear air outside of him. Other things that we're working on are keeping planes properly spaced apart if they're doing parallel approaches or on the ground. If, pilots, if planes are taxiing around and an air traffic control inadvertently tells somebody to go in front of a plane, uh, he has another method where he can determine something bad is happening. So how have simulators changed over the years? Over the past 15 to 20 years, simulators have changed dramatically, and that's largely due to the computer revolution and uh, changes in graphic systems from the entertainment industry. Uh, these simulators have gotten much more accurate and detailed, the simulations themselves, to the point that uh, we can do a simulation and then go out and fly the real aircraft and really find no differences uh, in the two. So are pilots the only ones using flight simulators? Well, absolutely not. Uh, actually, our simulators are used by researchers who are engineers uh, and technicians who are developing all of these programs so that we can determine whether they'll be good for the aviation industry or not. And then pilots are brought in actually at the end of the program so that they can be used as test subjects to determine whether the information then is going to be good enough to take onto the airplane for further test. Pilots also help us develop the uh, test as well. So Marshall, can you show me how the simulator works? Sure. We're actually at Dallas-Fort Worth right now and we're going to take off from Dallas-Fort Worth and uh, you're going to do it for us. So you take your throttles, Give it a try. move them all the way forward, your flaps are already set and okay. you're ready to go. Start with this, right? There we go. All right. And as your airspeed gets up to about 150, okay, you can pull back. back. Go ahead and pull back. There you go. All right, now you can push forward a little bit. And you just took off. <laughs> this is amazing. If it's in the real aircraft, it's in this simulator. This particular simulator is a copy of the of our 757 aircraft that we have at NASA that we use for research, it's a copy of the forward nose section. So we actually have, if we have a particular research instrument in the aircraft, we'll put it in the simulator as well. You guys must have fun working up here. It's a blast. Look at me saying up here. We're nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Thanks a lot, Marshall. This has been so much fun. It's been my pleasure. Thank you can come back anytime. Thank you. I will. I just have one question. Okay. Where do I put the quarters? Oh, that goes right over here. <laughs> yeah. You got me. <laughs> yeah.